Morning everyone. Uh, it's chaos, chaos this morning. So much going on. If you've been following along, you'll know that all my big paperwork that I use as reference material for paintings, my work on paper, well, it suddenly dawned on me yesterday trying to put together some um, really affordable pieces of work in small frames to take down to the exhibition. It's a really nice thing to do. I've made small works as small works, but then it dawned on me, I've got my paperwork and with your mounts, it's quite nice to identify just a section on your big paperwork if you've been making it. I'm going to cut up these sheets that I've got a few of and and make up some small pieces of work. I'm frazzled. I'm frazzled because there's so much to do for South East Asian Studios. But you will remember the long the long paperwork that went up on that wall. Well I've already freed out a couple of pieces and it's su it's the best fun. Once they're free, so identify with your mount, cut them free and then work on them as individuals. These might be a little bit damp. I've used a fixative because I've gone back in with charcoal. I really like that. This now, uh, for me anyway, this is a really good time of year, the best time of year for me to go around as things are starting to pop in the garden and take photographs for colour inspiration, shapes, the form of plants. Um, it is bountiful at the moment, it's glorious. I, I love it. I've sidetracked, I've digressed. This cabin boy. The colour of the alliums against the core 10. Um, have inspired me a little bit. I thought I'd share the strawberry planter. He's actually got some little strawberries looking lovely and green. The, this is thyme in a pot. Somehow it survived the winter. <laughs> Lovely clematis, the wonderful wisteria, the stunning salix. <laughs> I love alliums. I wish they lasted longer. This is euphorbia. I quite like, I like that area there. number one so if I do three four from five or six even if I can from that one sheet I'll have a nice little series a little nice little framed series then um, I rather like that here's another one remember to turn the work or turn your paper when you've cut it because quite often you find something from turning. I really like that. So I'm finding in doing this a way into being much more abstract without even yeah. thinking. These little frames are just four by fours and they've got the normal stand if you want to put them on a shelf, but we've put D rings on and a little bit of cord so you could actually hang these. I'm absolutely thrilled with these. They feel as if they've come to me free. <laughs> because I, I haven't really paid attention to this paperwork for some while. Obviously, it's been sitting in the studio. Uh, to make use of something that was great fun to do, good reference material, good experimentation sheet, and to, to have two little finished pieces, two unexpected outcomes, I think that's what they are. Thank you. 
Hi everyone. What I thought today, I've got this morning and I've been so busy with the cards. It's chaotic. I've got stuff all over the kitchen and uh, it's getting me down. All of it, I can work in chaos. I don't know if any of you are like this. I can work in chaos and then all of a sudden, oh, I can't bear it. I, suddenly it's, no, I need order. I can't do this anymore. I have got this glass table and I think that's the other thing that happens. I, I set things up to have a clear surface to work on and, and, and the space just shrinks. Drinking tea won't get anything done, but it might help with warming up. The first thing I did was bring these three stacking boxes um, from under the main table and I've put them by the side of the glass table. I've just emptied out a tray. Half of it was just redundant rubbish. It's amazing the, the, the toot that you can accumulate. So in this top box, I've got all my packs of cards, my cellophanes for the six by six size. I'm going to keep, I've just discovered four by fours and I'm going to keep those separately. So then I thought I'd put the tray on top of the boxes. Amazingly, if you remember a few weeks ago, I was talking about this caddy and how I just filled it with a load of rubbish. It's actually quite useful. I've decided, sorry, I'm filming and my fingers get in the way. So in here, these are, this is a section, this is the amount of cards I'm working on at the moment that I've scooped up from all around the house and the cabin. So these are unfinished, but they're, 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 that's work in progress. Then I've got my cards and envelopes, um, cellophane packaging bags. And at the back, I keep things that didn't work out. Cards that I got marked. So there's a mark on that one. But um, they're still very useful for experimenting and running through the printer if I, you know, to see the placement of things. So I don't get rid of any duds, uh, any failed attempts. So that's feeling better. I've cleared, I've got some space for just some pens, scissors, and it just leaves me. I've just got this little bit here to clear. There we are then. Somehow I've got the table clear. The first few days of Open Studios is hard work setting up. Those are my smalls on a trolley donated by lovely Sandy Schofield. I'm sharing a room with Sandy and she is a lovely artist and ceramicist. Her ceramics are divine. On the open evening, I think Sandy probably sold half of her work. This is just as we were finishing off setting up. Um, you can see some of her things here and her paintings. They are lovely. I apologize for the filming. I did drop my phone a couple of times and I don't think it likes the lighting in here. My crow cards have gone down really well, so I'm pleased about that. And I sold a couple of paintings on the preview evening. We're there until the 18th of June. Hi everyone. Oh, I really miss my cabin. I've just finished two full days um, down in the Pantiles for Southeast Open Studios. It's just going really well. Today, particularly, the loveliest people it's so nice just to communicate and talk about your art um, pe with, with people that are interested and interesting themselves. We've got a way to go, but uh, it's, it's going well. And the group of people that I'm with are just delightful. So yes, all thumbs up for, for this year. Oh, I'm, tr I'm working away. I'm working away in the evening trying to keep my card stock up. We have got some ceramic birds, they're guinea fowl, and suddenly I thought, why don't I draw the guinea fowl? Heidi 
Heidi Kayard. See, I'll put the name on the screen because I can't pronounce the French surname very well. Heidi Kayard. She started making these ceramic guinea hens in 1974 in the small town of Lausanne in Provence. We, we holidayed with our children uh, about 20 years ago. We kept going back to this area of Provence in the south of France and we visited the ceramic atelier. Since 1994, Adrian, her son, has continued her legacy with these um, guinea hens. I made some preliminary drawings in the sketchbook on a sketchbook page and then I went in with my acrylics and all the usual techniques that you've seen me repeat time and time again, glazing, working, back with my pen or ink and then glazing. So two or three layers down in there and then I took it to the printer and that's my next stage on card and gave, gave him a hat. I don't know where that came from, it just evolved. And this one is ready for me to now work on by hand, maybe with paint or those lovely ink pens, we'll see. These, these are the collection of guinea fowl that I've talked about. Um, and they've been waiting, they've been waiting patiently for me to rediscover their joy and draw them up and get them onto a card and maybe hopefully a painting. I'm dashing back to say <laughs> that I took my sketchbook and my British bird book down um, to the Pantiles, down to the gallery and I thought if I get a minute I might do a bit of drawing and have a look at a similar bird. In the UK, we've got pheasants, and then coming down in size, partridges, and then quail. So I thought I might have a little look at those uh, while I'm interested in that, that look of a bird. So I'll drop in those drawings. Another little avenue for some fun work. I really, really fancy getting those um, onto a painting. I, I'm making copious notes of things that are running through my mind uh, as these days go by. Have a fantastic week, everyone. I haven't forgotten about setting up a Facebook group. I am still looking into it. I'm, I'm a bit bogged under. I will come back round to it. So have a fabulous week. Thank you for watching and, and thank you to people that tune in weekly. It's very, very lovely. Heartfelt thanks for lovely comments. And I will see you next time. Thanks then, bye.